Hello, everybody, and welcome to Learning with Chrono Revisit Revisit. Today, for me, I just got a fairly aggressive comment saying that this person wanted the app data folder actually remapped for Minecraft. Um, and I guess I could see why. Uh, if you use the auto installer for Forge, it automatically installs into app data. You kind of aren't given a choice. Uh, if you install Forge manually, I'm sure, I mean, it, the old instructions would work fine. But honestly, I don't, one, I don't know if the old way of installing Forge is still a thing. And two, this, uh, this piece of information can actually extend beyond just Minecraft itself, so it might actually turn out to be useful for other people as well. Probably not for this person, because this person's probably never coming back to my channel after what they said, and I'm okay with that, honestly. But here it is. Other people might find it useful, so I'm going to go through it. Now, I did not want to actually do this, because we're going to be fiddling with Windows settings a little bit, and it might be a little weird it might get a little weird and uh but that's what happens when you start fiddling with system-wide settings for one program it's a little complicated so if we remember the first time i changed we i walked you through changing the minecraft installation we created a batch file that set the app data variable to wherever we wanted it the second time i revisited it I did it through the new Minecraft launcher that doesn't work the same way as the old Minecraft launcher. So the new Minecraft launcher cannot work like the, the original video. However, the way this works is shockingly similar. All right, so first off, let's start with what specifically I'm talking about. I'm talking about system variables, and we can start seeing system variables by hitting the Windows key and R button, which will bring up our run command, and type in CMD and bring up the command prompt. All right. If we type in set, just S-E-T, and hit enter, it will show all of the system variables and a lot of information, basically pieces of information about your processor, Fox it, oh, Okay, yeah, uh, more information than I'm even aware of. I don't see any information in here that's compromising. Um, I mean, I know I've walked through, you know, my domain name being New Republic. I'm sure I told that story before, but whatever. Uh, but the one we are focusing on is up at the top here, app data. See, users, administrator, app data, roaming. Now, we all remember this path from when I was, well, doing both of the previous videos. So what we've got to do is change the app data path for Minecraft. Now, as far as I know of, you can't change it exclusively for one program because this is a system-wide variable. And this is why you don't really... It's iffy doing this, but it should work. It shouldn't give too many problems. Uh, so what we do to change that is we hit set and then the variable name app data equals, and then where we want it. In this case, let us create a brand new folder under here. And I'll just call this temp because, well, I'm not creative when it comes to naming things. So we want d colon backslash Minecraft backslash temp. d colon backslash Minecraft backslash temp. All right, and then we don't get any errors or anything like that. So if we type in set again and we scroll up, we see app data equals d colon backslash Minecraft backslash temp. So it works. However, this is right now what this could do. This could break several of your programs. Okay, I'm, I'm just going to say that straight up. It is possible to break programs doing this, which is why I kind of wanted to avoid this. But it shouldn't be too much problem because, as we see here, right now it's pointing to the D drive. If I close the command prompt and reopen it and type in set again and scroll up, we see that the app data went right back to its default. 
So it's only active when the command prompt is open. So how do we fiddle with that? Well, it's a simple batch file. First thing we need to do is create a new text document and we'll just call this Minecraft. Let me capitalize that because I'm picky. A little bit anal retentive. And the second thing we have to do is rename this extension because right now it's just a text document. We need it to be a .bat file. So we have to go to, in Windows 7, we go to Organize and Folder and Search Options. In Windows XP, I believe it's Tools and Folder Options. Uh, but Vista 7 and I believe Windows 8 are all the same. Uh, where it's just Organize, then Folder and Search Options. We go to View and then uncheck the hide extensions for known file types. Now, if you're using a previous version of Windows before Windows XP, like Windows 2000, um, how are you playing Minecraft? Is that even possible? I don't know, I never tried. But uh, the hide extensions for known file types is unchecked by default. This started with XP and above. So we just hit OK, and then we see all our extensions. We see Minecraft.exe, we see Minecraft.txt. So we need to rename this to .bat. So it makes it a batch file. Yes, it'll complain about changing the file extension. You may break something, blah, 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 blah. We know what the file is. We know what it's supposed to do. Changing it's fine. So now we have Minecraft.bat. That doesn't actually do anything at the moment because we have to add things. Uh, just right-click, edit and it will bring up Notepad by default. Now we type in the information we just put in. So we want set space app data. And from what I can tell, this is all case sensitive. I, I did this with lowercase app data and it created a second variable called app data all lowercase. So leave these all uppercase equals D colon backslash Minecraft backslash temp. Now the path itself is not case sensitive, just the variable, which is a little weird, but it's Windows. Windows is weird. Return and then minecraft.exe. Okay, so this will look shockingly like what we did in the first video, except we're not calling Java. We're going straight to minecraft.exe. We hit save, close, now, what I'm going to do right at the beginning, we'll go to minecraft.exe and we can see in the launcher it says uh, C users administrator app data roaming.minecraft. Okay. Close that and then run our bat file. And then it'll say d minecraft temp dot minecraft. And now it's asking us for our email address and username. So that means that it's accessing nothing that was there before. Everything is being created inside of this temp folder. Now, this is what I was talking about where things get a little goofy. We see a Dropbox folder. This is another program that's using the app data directory. And it's using the app data variable. So it might be something to worry about just a little bit, but I believe since the command prompt is closed, it only changed it for the fraction of a second it needed to launch Minecraft itself. But we can find that out fairly quick by going into our run again, typing in percentage app data, percentage, enter. And it gets us to administrator app data roaming. So it'll only open it for a fraction of a second. However, if you have a whole bunch of programs running at once, it's possible it might break something. However, it is unlikely. I'm just saying your mileage may vary a little bit. So I hope that helped out. I hope somebody learned from this. And I will say to you guys, see you in the next episode. And as always, keep playing the game and have fun. And remember, you may be able to catch more fl flies with vinegar than with honey, but you get less snarky results when you ask politely. Thank you.